What's going on everybody? John Veed here back with a brand new video. Just putting up all my equipment today. Um, I got a little storage unit here and I figured while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to go ahead and downstream uh, with your pressure washer. It doesn't matter how many GPM of a pressure washer you have or how many PSI. Any pressure washer can go ahead and downstream and I'm going to show you guys essentially everything you need uh, right now to go ahead and start downstreaming and washing houses because if you're not washing houses you're not making money so i just got off a consultation call with a good guy uh alex and this was his question so i'm kind of making this for you buddy and i'll also send you um another video on facebook but um we, we did a nice consultation call and if somebody if you guys are interested like that all you guys have to do is send me over a text at 843 888 two three seven one so if you're interested in doing a 30 minute consultation call send me a text and um, also if you want me to explain to you how i can manage and set up your facebook ads go ahead and send me a text as well so i just wanted to extend that to you guys hit me up and let's go ahead and get into this video right, so what we got here is the full setup um I do have another employee that's out working right now, so the other pressure washer is currently out and all the other stuff, but when I'm doing solo work, I have a pressure washer, um, 100 feet of garden hose, 100 feet of pressure washing hose, and a pump spray, just in case I wanna do a real hot mix, and a five gallon bucket, okay? So what you guys need to do is first off, is go to your local pool store and get, um, 12.5% fresh bleach. If you buy it from Home Depot or Walmart, it's not gonna be as fresh. So go and get real good, hot. Um, I, 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 if you're in Tampa, Florida, I go to Pinchy Penny. And you also need to pick up some of this Eliminator. Okay, with Chlora Boost. So these two together, boom, boom, bleach and surfactant and we'll go ahead and grab this okay so what you do is you fill a five gallon bucket with five gallons of bleach one ounce of eliminator surfactant per gallon of bleach so you're going to add five ounces of eliminator five gallons of bleach why five gallons because we've got a five gallon bucket Okay, so this comes with every pressure washer and you're gonna wanna find your downstream uh, spigot. Boom, here we go. Pop it on like that. Okay, so now this is on, ready to work. All you do, just grab your bucket, boom, drop it in and it'll start sucking. Okay, you don't have to do anything else the other thing you need, let's see, I don't know if I have one. Well, you need a J rod, and that's uh, linked in the description. So uh, let me go get my J rod from my car, and we'll show you that. But that's all you have to do from the pressure washer. So, lastly, all you're going to need to pick up is a J rod. All right, link in the description to go ahead and pick up a J rod. You've got your soap tip for 30 foot soap tip straight up in the air. You've got a 25% soap tip and you've got a 25% rinse and a 30 foot rinse. All right, so I hope this video got, helps you guys out and I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video.